And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan. K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight title match. Here in Nagoya at the Dolphins Arena, we've got 6,000 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. Here in the red corner, Tatsuya Yamato taking on, in the blue, Fukashi. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what pops off in the ring tonight. Yeah, this is the... I mean, I can't really say dark horse battle because both these guys are super well known, but this is the fight on this card that I've been really excited about. Um, Tetsuya Yamato has done huge things in, in Muay Thai and K1. He's fought the best of the best, um, has some great KO power, just really smooth and composed. And Fukashi has um, incredible power in both hands and has had great performances, particularly in Japan, if you follow the scene. So this should be a real banger right here. Well, both, yeah, well, both veterans, uh, veteran fighters with stacked records. And let's see which one will get the big W tonight. Yeah, the amount of KOs that Yamato gets, you know, 41 wins and with 30, 30 knockouts. Uh, he, and it, it's not that he's the most powerful fighter. I mean, he certainly has a lot of power, but it's, He's, he sets things up so well, and he will often smash the legs of his opponents mm -hmm. and um, then work the body. Just yeah. really clean it for Yeah, yeah. All of his fights, is, you know, he's always well composed, knows what he's doing, and he sets out with his plan. Yeah. Um, well, and Fukashi just known for having incredible heart, um, besides a great striking skill set. Um, you know, you can never count him out in a match. He can always come back with a big strike, a big kick, big punch. So really fun to watch as well. This first round, both fighters are trading a series of punches and kicks, which seem to be just kind of a feeling out process right now. Yeah, Fukashi a little lighter on the feet, a little bouncier, in and out, tossing the jab. Yamato a little more upright. Probably sturdier with the stance. Um, probably chopping the legs a little bit more as well. Ooh. Kashi throwing, throwing these big right, right overhands. Um, ooh, some body shot there. Ooh, nice hook. Wow. Yeah, big, big powerful punches here from Fukashi. Yamato often does a really great job of um, working his opponent back to the ropes and just hanging in the pocket, keeping the pressure up, and feeding shots in through um, his opponent's defense. Mm. Interesting to see what sort of um, strategy he uses here in this fight with sort of a loose, um, light sort of footwork artist mm. here in Fukashi. Ooh. No, no. Slip there. Ooh, nice combo there, yeah, Ooh, but oh, but Yamato gave him back the same combo. It looks like. Yep, he stays real composed. You know, feed shots into the middle. Kashi with some great body shots there, though, on that combination. Mm -hmm. Flicking the jab and then going downstairs. Ooh, snuck one in there. Yamato. Ooh. Oh yeah, that uh, Yamato definitely felt that left hook mm. to the body there. I like how loose and light Fukashi. Oh yeah, yeah. Big variance, of, a big difference in between both the fighters' styles. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. But produce similar results. Yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, ran real, real even around there for both of those guys. Um, just kind of feeling out, looking for openings. But Fukashi doing some good work to mm -hmm. the body. Um, Yamato with some some good low kicks and some good um, counter shots of his own. Yeah. Oof, there you have it. Yeah, Fukashi sticking the jab out there. Um, Yamato Tetsuya would be well served to you know, chop the front leg with a kick, sweep it a little bit. Definitely doesn't want to be on the receiving end of that jab too often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Round two about to begin. 
in this super lightweight bout between veteran Tetsuya Yamato and Fukashi. Here we go. Let's see what they have to offer here in the second round. Yamato being a little more aggressive now. He's well, he was, working him back to the ropes to the corner here. Fukashi stands still light and loose and mm -hmm. bouncy. Ooh, nice, nice jumping knee there. Whoa! Oh, and then ah, a little left hook there landed mm. from Fukashi. Yamato's got to be careful. Ooh. Yep, he's on the receiving end of a few shots Ooh. here. And he's got to keep the guard nice and tight and get him back on the ropes. Take away some of that bouncy footwork wow, from Fukashi. Yeah. Or chop the low kick. Oh, let's see. This is the time if they're going to switch up their game or, or trying to approach. This is the time to do it. Yeah. Yep, you only get three rounds unless you go to that extension round. So it's not a lot of time to work. No. Yeah, with that footwork Kashi has, it's very easy for him to get in and out. Yeah. You know, the big vulnerability with the bounce is just it's hard to defend the low kick. Yamato is walking him down. Throwing out these punches. Kind of T-1000-esque approach. Mm. Um, just kind of, kind of morphed through Takashi's blows, but we don't know how much damage they are. Yeah, doing both guys doing a great yeah. job of going down to the body. Regardless of their stylistic differences, I, I like the body work. Something's going to give on yeah. one of them. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, yeah, nice body shot there. Just, Ooh, up, up. Just working the body a little Ooh, bit. A little more. knee there. Oh, oh. Got Yamato. A little bit, a little stun. Yeah, Fukashi with a lot of output. Ooh, nice knee there. Really. Yeah, momentarily there, Yamato finding himself in the corner, mm -hmm. pushing it back. Just has to keep, he has to watch out for these shots looping over the guard there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big right hand there on the money. And Fukashi oh, found his rhythm. His boxing is looking mm -hmm. so good this fight. Great head work. Ooh, yeah, I'm about to bring the knee up. Yeah, Fukashi looking great with the head movement and the boxing in this match. Right? Yamato seemingly happy to trade with the hands. Mm -hmm. I, I really think he would do well with some, some more low kicks. Yeah. It's almost like he's um, accepting the challenge to keep it mm -hmm. a hand fight from Fukashi, which yeah. he, he let some of those low kicks go that he's so good with. Oof. Wow. Well, there you have it, a big round for, 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 for uh, Fukashi. Yeah. Um, yeah, Yamato landed some blows as well, but mm -hmm. I think in the first round there, uh, not the first round, the beginning of the second round, uh, Fukashi definitely uh, had Tetsuya on the ropes. Eating away. Yeah, well, there's a great mid kick there from Yamato. Bo both guys, you know, doing what they need to do, working the body. And we'll see here, heading into, into the third round, if someone's starting to give a little bit and uh, mm. those body shots are adding up. Yeah. Some good shots. Fukashi keeping his head down, moving in and out, keeping the pressure up. You know, still real even, but Fukashi mm -hmm. probably pulling away a little bit in that yeah, round, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. I think, as you said before, uh, Tetsuya was, was down to, to throw some hands with Fukashi. Maybe mm -hmm. that Tetsuya thinks he has a better hand game than yeah. Fukashi. And, uh, yeah, maybe he sees something that we're not. Maybe yeah. he's feeling something there in those exchanges. Mm -hmm. And he's just, you know, I just need a little more time. Yeah. I just need to land that, that big blow. So. <laughs> He's a veteran, no doubt. He knows what he's doing. Here we go, beginning of the third round. Kashi, his, knee, his knees, he threw, landed a few good knees too in that second round. And let's see if he... Ooh, nope, looks like it's just going to be a fight of... Yeah. Well, there's Yamato now putting mm -hmm. the pressure on, still working the body. These guys are oh, blasting oh, the oh, body. Oh, oh, a big uppercut there. Oh, he got him. Oh, he's... Wow. Wow. Holy cow. Wow, I think he's, yeah, he's, he's done. He's definitely hurt. That was a fantastic series of punches wow. from Fukashi there. The uppercut started it. 
And the uppercut was like a, the button. The Looking combo, so clean with his punching combinations yeah. today. And that was a killer instant combo right there. Remember, the killer instant TJ Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have a feeling Fukashi's been working on his hands in the gym, man. His boxing is looking great. And these guys have done some training together, um, so you can see a lot of respect in the ring. Um, wow. Always hard, you know, to fight someone you're friendly with. Yeah. Fukashi looking great with the hands there at the end. Yeah, nah, the left, yep, the left uppercut on oh, the left right. and the right over the top. Wow. Fukashi's position is uh, really looking really clean. Really impressed with the way he was putting his box together in this fight. Wow. KO bonus. Was nice. Yeah, definitely not a not a uh, a bummer for him there. Getting the uh, getting the KO bonus on top of his fight purse. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what Fukashi has to say about that action.来年俺が定番のベルト取るんでよろしくお願いします。え、いや、本当に哲也さん、ありがとうございました。まあ、K1名古屋大会今日初めてですけど、え、マジ盛り上がってると思うんで、毎年年1回名古屋で定番やりましょう。え、今日は応援来てくれた名古屋の方、遠くから来てくれた方、本当にありがとうございました。俺からも応援お願いします。Yeah, the big swing of emotions there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it seems like they're buddies and yeah. it's always hard to go in there with someone you're friendly with, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he says he's going to be the champion. Uh, the next champ, the next K1 champion. Yeah, if his hands keep looking like this, man, um, he'll have a real good shot at making a run for the belt. Really impressive performance here from Fukashi. Um, yeah, and he'd like to see more K1 events here at Nagoya in the future as well, as I think we all would. Well, say that again. Uh, excellent finish at the K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan K1 Women's, Fi w women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight Title Match. Catch you next time.